All right, the fist bump has been exchanged. We're going to see some Mark DK. Battlefield. Uh, both care. Yeah, no, that. Fear of God. That's. Battlefield, I, I feel, is such like a. I've actually never seen that down before. Neither care about the stage. Yeah, I can see that. Like, they don't have strong feelings on it. Whereas, like, a Falco, they love Battlefield. Of course they do. She oh, that was not a. Love it. That was not like a well advised down air, dude. No. Like, like DK, like you're just like as Marth, you're just like it's kind of like playing Ices in a way. Like it's just like I just don't want to get grabbed. Yeah. Anything else is fine. And so and, just don't do down airs like and, that. You know and, what I mean? And with DK, not oh. only does he have an eight frame grab instead yeah. of almost everyone else who has a seven frame grab, yeah. but I mean like he doesn't have the kind of punish game Ices do on Marth. Yeah, and I mean I've watched at this point a decent amount of two train games. Yeah. He's missing a lot of um. See, I feel like the big stage is getting him too a little bit. Like he's missing a lot of uh, like up throw up airs and up throw pairs. Yeah. Whereas like when that. he was playing Zemu and uh, Cobb earlier, he was he was drilling him. Like, yeah. No no worries. So I don't know. He's gonna have to pull it together. He's got nothing but annoying characters to play against. Oh my god. That was sick. But up B will probably take it. The funny thing was like it didn't even uh, no, set up mind. normally like a reverse bear, but DK is just so big that like it just hit anyway. <laughs> it can happen. Yeah. He's huge. Like he barely got hit by the reverse bear and it was fine. Okay, what do you think? Fear of God or wait for the grab? <sighs> That's a good question. I think. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. It's so visceral. Yes, it is. It is very much so. Like every time I see oh. a donkey punch, I think of just one excerpt from the chorus of Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer. He's a sledgehammer. Like, he's just in there. Oh, man, this is so much damage. <laughs> DK just, just does him. not have a good time getting down. Oh, nice edge yeah, cancel again. Same thing we saw a while ago on uh, Pokemon, I want to say. I don't forget who it was, uh, who it was against. It was against Drefin. Oh, Drefin. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. That's it. OK, I just Reeves setting up the wall. Overcommits, though, I think, like, once again, it's just like, we talked about this with the Fox Pastor set, like, way earlier. Like, how do I lose from this position, you know? Yeah. And, like, Nair into the corner with Marth was, like, one of the only ways you lose, right? Like, but, so just, oh, no. And that's another way you lose. That's, that's a lot of damage. That's 28% right off yeah. the grab. Kind of risky from 2 because if he got hit afterwards, he would have lost his giant punch. Yeah. Okay, Tech Chase. Yeah, this should be the stock. Uh, probably. Yeah, yeah, that's the stock. That's that is the scary part about DK. Is now he's going to get another giant punch. And it's all about a mix-up between is he just going to do it or, or is he going to set then, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't know. Yeah. And that's why it's always a threat. And at this point, a grab could kill again because up throw dare and then, like, a Tech Chase. Yeah. So you have to be really careful when DK has the punch. Yeah, see, back in the day, DK players Ooh. pretty much hated every stage that wasn't FD. But now... Now they have this setup. Well, yeah, yeah they've they have learned. stuff like that. They've learned down air setups. You know, Chandy was a really big uh, proponent in 2016 for kind of the nouveau underground DK renaissance, <laughs> which is such a strange, convoluted, like, concept. That but sounds like real. a band. Uh, you know what? <laughs> That's a good band name. Underground DK renaissance. But, like, there are actual DK players now. Like, what? number three in Spain. I'm just so confused at what that was from Futran. He had a free grab with an F smash on shield. He was going in. And he just jumped in place and then got hit. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, dude. So he takes, he gets the giant punch, but he takes 30% and loses in Vuln. I'm not sure if that was a good choice. No, it's worth oh. it. In I don't know, In most cases, it's worth it because you are not going to be able to catch Marth. He's holding he him for his life. He can run away from you. He missed. This yeah. is huge because he's going to get back and center. Dude, he needs to just, like... I'll talk about it after the game, because this yeah. is way too close. All right, he gets ledge. Nope. Yeah, that's that should be it. That should be it, yeah. yeah. What were you Reeve saying? with the slap on the leg. Dude, yeah, yeah. so, like, what I was going to say is, like, he was actually, I think, giving him too much respect. There were two or three points at the end of that game he could have just shield grabbed. Yeah. And Marth is a character that I think you do have to just shield grab when he misses spaces. Oh because, my God. like, you just have to do it. And, like... I think he just gave Reed too much respect. Dude, it works in the in the mashup, especially. DK's big. Either just shield grabbing or or CC grabbing, or doing more of that. Right. You know. I mean, DK is a big boy. He's got big arms. Yeah. Grab range is actually like pretty sizable. You it don't really is. notice it because he's so big. But, but like he has big. a pretty good grab range. And like I see Tutran doing these down down tilts when he's close to Marth, where he could Ooh. get a grab off of it, and you will get more percent off of it. Dude, Tipper's hurt in this matchup. <laughs> Uh, because, like, DK, like, 
he really can't recover that well against Marth below the stage. That's so if you get hit far enough away, yeah. like you're just going to keep getting F smash, kind of similar to Falcon. It'll just happen over and over again. Yeah, so like you really don't want to get Tipper in the middle of the stage now, at 50 like that. The good news is DK is a heavy guy. Yeah, he's a big boy. Like he, if you oh. mess up once, nice, that's all it nice. takes. Yeah. And you need to be really, ready for that DI. That is a setup on mid weights. Yeah. And honestly, I should have incorporated it more into my money matches today. Two trans showing you can, me. Um, you can DI away that throw, right, and not get fair? Yeah, but like, it's You're all far. a mix-up, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's all a mix-up. if not, he will just forward throw you out of a DK punch. Right, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, okay. Now you're off stage versus the Donkey Kong, which, depending on the DK and the matchup, is actually scary. Yeah. Because he has that drop down up B. Yeah, it's basically you just kind of gamble. Yeah. You just say, like, someone's up B is going to hit someone else's up B, and let's find out, dude. Yeah, and let's <laughs> see what happens. And if he, if he gets me, he gets me. Yeah. All right, I really like that uh, kind of shield stop turnaround bear from Tutran. The things okay. that DK players were meant to do, but of course, no one really plays wow. Donkey Kong. Dude, Reef's platform movement has been excellent. Not only this set, smooth. yeah, smooth. It honestly makes me wonder, like, what happened in pools, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I, I heard from a guy who heard from a guy he had, like, no hours of sleep before he drove yeah. up. I don't I mean, know if that's join true. Join the club. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. Man. Okay, so this game, it feels like Reeves has been in control basically the whole game, but Tutran has been keeping it close. Yeah, no, he's still, like, he's a competitor. He's like, no, no, you can't forget about me. Like, I have these hands. They're huge. Look at my huge hands. Yeah. And, you know, I keep saying it every set that there's a Marth on screen. Marth on Dreamland, underrated, it's you know? It's not bad. It's like, not that and bad. And you feel that most when Marth is winning because yeah. he lives a long time when you don't have a character that can just, like, up B-stall on the ledge, like yep. Sheik. Like, he will live a while. And uh, that's going to be something that Tutran has to deal with because up throw fair just, you saw, it wasn't really close to killing. No. It wow. was not, and that's kind of what he has to rely on. Dad slapped. <laughs> slapped him. Yeah. Dude, four tilt, always the best. Honestly, that... Okay. Yeah, we that were... is where you need to do a drop down up BSDK. Yeah. Like in my humble opinion, reviewing the clip. Uh, no. Oh no, that's something you can't be doing. He needed to stall that. Yeah. To wait. Okay. They're very nice frame trap though. Yes. That was nice. That is one of my, the the best things to do with Donkey Kong. Oh, you think I misspaced my bear? I didn't misspace anything. Yeah. All right, he's over 100, so he can't do the cheesy get-up attack, but he shield pokes with that uh, up B and goes for the grab right out of it. Yeah. Going, going, going. And we know that also that you saw Reeve earlier, he was doing down throw, down tilt, still edge versus DK. Yeah. Um, we know that, like, Reeve has taken note of the fact that he's always double jump speed spotting. Yep. Expect at some point later in the set if it's close for a down air from Reeve to come out. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be really good. Yeah, and, like, you know Marth players, like, as a Marth player, I know, like, he's saving that in the back pocket for when it, the situation's right. Like, when DK's at, like, 20%, he throws him off stage, he'll go for one, you know? Dude, Tutran, Tutran is actually, like, I don't know if he's the smartest man who ever lived. Or if he has like four brain cells, like can it be both? He, don't look at him. I don't know. It's confusing. I feel intimidated. <laughs> That's the plan, right? Yeah, I mean it must be. Cause, uh oh. I don't know. Oh, gets gets hit by that get up attack, dude. Dude, when DK gets hit by an up tilt, it is so painful. <laughs> you can see it in his face. Yeah. And All the right. worst part is that like. You want to just like shield the fair up tilt, but you just get shield poked a lot, yeah. like because the shield's so small. So the shield's bad. Sometimes there's just not really an answer for DK and neutral. And and it's like okay, you. That light was a lot of damage. Yes, it was. You light shield to ledge. Wait a minute. Wait a what minute. Do you do? Wait a minute. No, he he can get back. Yeah. I actually don't like that he let him down because he didn't have a jump. I don't know if Tutran knew that. I think he did. I don't know. Oh my god! I don't think yeah. anyone in the room saw that coming. I don't think they did either. That reverse fair came out of nowhere. Absolutely. Can I? No. See, I I'll actually defend him letting. Mar come down just because DK gets destroyed by falling fair. Sure, 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 like, sure. And, definitely. And then you have no comeback. I just feel like that was the only time that whole game where it felt like he had momentum, right, you know? Dude. Tutran, I think you really need to go to I don't know. Maybe you don't like, like the stage? I think maybe Pokemon. Sure. Just, I don't know. I would. Th you would think that a low ceiling would be really good for DK. Yeah. Like, like I, I understand Marth's bet on Dreamland. It's like, you know, it's the classic rhetoric, but I feel like 
I would want to go somewhere like Pokemon for the low ceiling. It benefits your character. Yeah, it right. Donkey Kong's kill setups. Yeah. And if you're against if you're against a Marth, you gotta play that differently than against a Fox. Yeah. You know? And I know that like when DK is playing against like Sheik, he loves like Koshis. Yeah. Because he can kill off the top, and obviously that's not somewhere you want to go against Marth. No. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, but, but you can still take Pokemon because it's right. like it's kind of like an FD. It has two platforms, but yeah. other than that, it's FD. Oh my god, you just... DK's sounds are visceral, and like I love it. when you're at a that's something you don't really experience if you're in the chat. And you don't go to like national. Like when you hear the bass at a big tournament. But like, uh, it's a different feeling than like a Marth Tipper. A Marth Tipper is like, boom, it's like a thud. Yeah, it, it's definitely a thud. DK slap sounds like I'm witnessing something I'm not supposed to see. You know what I mean? No, absolutely. <laughs> and not not to mention, oh. the sounds DK makes when he like gets a down air <laughs> oh my or like God. that, like that is the most primordial, angry, Ooh, reverse. predator sound. Dude, he is tricky with these throw setups. You're he definitely is. right. Oh, yeah. I think still invincible, so I don't know what Chutran could have done. All right, he was going for the shield drop read. Yeah, for which sure. Which is very 2018 Donkey Kong of you. Something yeah. that you will probably never hear any other commentator say. Oh, dude, the spacing by Reeve was actually crazy. Yeah, actually. All right, he gets a grab. What does he get off of it? Okay, it doesn't let him get to the platform. Sometimes this is how you feel as Marth. You try to be a cool guy and read the role, and then you take, like, you might he might just die. Oh, okay, nice up B going around. Wow, two incredible up Bs. <laughs> two incredible up Bs. Actually, yes. The spacing was uh, quite, quite good. And we got more slaps. Yeah, he's starting to use this forward tilt. And he's also charging uh, Donkey Punch right in front of him. Yeah. He's like daring him. I think he's just like trying to find things that he can do while facing Marth. Yeah. Because his face away game has been pretty good, but you know, Marth's so fast that if you're facing away the whole time, you're just not going to catch him. Yeah. I mean, that is the classic DK. It's like, well, if you're facing your opponent most of the time, you're playing the matchup wrong. Yeah. So Almost, he's trying to find ways yeah, to make that work. Yeah, of what matchup it is. Yeah. But with Marth hitting him towards... Because that's something that DK really like suffers with the Falco. It's because the lasers put you back towards Falco. Up throw fair. Yep. yep. It will, That'll wow. kill. I actually think Reeves' DI was DI'd. too good. He yeah. should have DI'd. Like, he should have had bad DI. Yeah, he like, needed worse actually. DI. Like, this is that mid-tier stuff. Sometimes you need the bad DI. Okay, down throw. Reeve, once again, playing that situation really passive. Yeah. He doesn't want to put himself in a bad situation. And this could yep. be it. This yep, could this be is going to be a stock. Yep, that's what will happen. From two and when he gets the shoulder hitbox like that, you just go straight up. Yep. So, like, you're just completely done. Yes. It's it's such a it's such a nice setup on certain characters. Yeah. And that is why DK, like, one of those rare characters where he has a lot easier of a time comboing, like, Sheik and Marth. Like, then he does Fox and Falco. If he gets the grab. Yeah. And, and DK's punish game, let it be known, DK's punish game on uh, Space Animals is uh, ridiculous. It's really good too, but he's not going to tech chase them on the ground. Whereas, no. like, he doesn't have to do that against Shikin Marth, you know? Very true. It's just like two hits, like Yo. he gets one hit. Yeah. But yeah, he doesn't need a lot of hits. He needs a few good ones. Yes, he much. needs the good ones. And then he can just kind of go to town. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. 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 I Spacing beyond yeah. this, like, just... I, I think his reach just wasn't on the side head. of the stage, you know? And he wasn't like, far enough out. And, like, yeah, Reeves going to finish this up pretty quickly, but here's the thing. Yeah? 28% he didn't need. Yeah, that's definitely true. Because DK's going to come down now, and Reeves going to have to get out of this after he gets the punch. Yeah. See? Now, I'm like, if he gets grabbed... Could be death. And this is why I definitely support charging the punch with your invulnerability. Like, yeah. what are you going to do as Donkey Kong with invulnerability against Mark? He will just outrun you. Yeah. Like, you oh, can't, can't catch him. That I don't was know about that choice. DK trying. There it is. Yeah. The, it the is on the table. Smoke. Yeah. That's how you know. Slaps trying to get in. Yeah. So grab extra scary right now. Oh, he just lets it rip. Yeah. And this kind of sucks. You, have, you know he has to be feeling it because... If he didn't use the punch, that was a kill, right? Yeah. Like, so now he's going to have to find his own way to make this stock happen. Nice well, spacing. There are, there are Donkey Kongs who <gasps> don't use the punch like some yeah, 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 for sure. Ooh, okay, up airs, up tilt, the advantage of Dreamland. He's, he's going to get more chances. Yeah, he's going to get more chances, and he's going to go high every time. This might is. be his one of his last chances coming up. He will be able to top get platform. to top platform. Nope. No. He will now. He has yeah. top plat now if he upbeat early enough. Wow. Smart and by the roll. He says you don't know where this goes. He has a grab. And, and that does it. 
Yeah, that that's going also it. to be Ooh. it for game three. Two Tran Ooh, just two managed. talking to him. He's he just managed to uh, secure a spot. Here. Reeves like God damn it. <laughs> Drinking his Fanta. Because he was almost done. Right? Yeah, no, you know what he, I mean? Like this that when there you're is talking a about when you're talking about yeah. like Donkey Kong getting yeah. it smashed over and over again. There are mix-ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw it right there. That was a crazy deep up beat. And now, like as the as the high tier player, you were almost out of the woods. Now there's a chance that you open up the next game and he just wrecks you. Yeah, like, and that's so, kind of like, what Reeves thinking right now. Yeah, because you know he's think you saw him laughing. He was like, God dang it, because like now he's got to do it all again. Yeah. So we're going to Yoshi's. Obviously, Mars great on the stage. I also think DK is super good on this stage. So it depends. Yeah. It, uh, it honestly does depend. Because on the one hand, people can't run away. Donkey Kong hates it when people run away. Yeah. But on the other hand, he dies pretty quickly. Yeah. And usually he can uh, bank on living oh. a while. Yeah, he that's actually, true. actually, that down air, I think he wanted to edge cancel. Yeah, he did. But, you know. Okay, that was a free shield grab, right? Yeah, was and he went it? for the down air, and somehow Reeve knew that that was going to happen. Because he went for that up smash. Yeah, I'm Which gonna, was kind of crazy. I, I don't think that up smash was intentional. It, it looked perfect. You think? Like, he just, like, beat. Yeah. Like, what I else could he have been trying be to right. be doing? Because he was yeah. out of shield. So, I don't really know. Maybe up air on accident? I, I don't know. Yeah. All right, solid stuff by Reeve. Yeah. He can definitely tech chase oh. Donkey Kong to oblivion. Uh-oh. Okay, good recovery by Reeve. I really like that wiggle out air dodge. Dude, if Donkey Kong had a seven frame grab, do you think that would have worked? <laughs> <laughs> Question for the chat. Someone tweet practical pass. Okay, he does Reeve have his jump? Yeah. No, but I actually really don't like going for Randall there. I feel like DK's strongest edge guarding move is his bear. Yeah. So like, you don't want to go right into it. Well, and. Reeve just gives him a stock. In general, my mentality claims to be, like, I go for whatever my opponent thinks that I'm not going for. Yeah. So, like, if they see Randall and they're like, he's going to go for Randall, I go to ledge. Right. It's just kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. Don't get, don't let Rus uh, Russell, don't let Randall hustle you in. Like, don't let him. He, he has all this talk, but he's just going to lie to you. Oh, wow, he died from that. That yeah, sucks. That does suck. That's, that, that's Yoshi's putting in work yeah. for Reeve. It's also just, like, Classic case, like, it's kind of annoying to edge guard Marth up tilt because it sends it the other way. Yeah. So, like, he thought he was dying correctly for one move and got hit by another one that sent the other way. The classic. Yeah. So, similar like a Samus down smash problem. Samus down smash is actually such a dumb move, but because it's attached to, like, objectively. Oh, he dead? He's yes, dead. He Those low plants help DK in that way. Yeah. And that was like 80%. Yeah. That's an early kill. I, partially, it probably has to do with DI, I'm going to assume. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. There was something fishy going on there that wasn't like completely legit. But uh, he can shield up <gasps> there. The slap. slap. Okay. Wait he's a minute. He's going for it. He's going the distance. This, he's in the lead. Yeah, technically. And he doesn't let him land on the main stage. He keeps him to the flats. Oh, man. He just does it. He just does it, dude. He and missed. Yeah. You need to go for a different setup. Dad slap. Wow, That's the stall. He, you know, he hadn't shown that the whole set. He hasn't done the, uh, well, has he done the, uh, like, you know, bear to regrab at all. No, he, that's what I was saying. That was Dang. he hasn't done that, so he saved it. And I bet that's you Reeve didn't tricks. know that that was going to happen. Probably not. Ooh. Okay, kind of a bit of a battle there. Lots of damage. Just damage. That sucks just though. Damage. He got hit out of his up B at the end, yeah. so no more giant punch. But if you're two Tran, you'll take I, it. Yeah, I think you are. You're willing to take that. Oh, he went for it all. Like you can kill Marth earlier than Marth can kill you, straight up. Uh oh. This is gonna be rough. Oh, he yeah. just gets he slapped got by the sword. And, and that's that'll do it. Reeve takes it. Two moving into top four. And top four is happening. And yeah, by the way, Reeve from Jordan. losers and pools yeah. makes all it in the top four all, all the way, way through. After falling to Simeon, made it all the way back. And Tutran with an incredible fifth place performance, by the way. We can't just uh, shake that one off. He beat yeah, no. Zamu he and in. Cobb. Uh, just like incredible, made it to Winterside top eight. Definitely went in and like played Donkey Kong. All the way. Just such, but in.